the earth, all your creatures, all the sea. Lift up your eyes to the wonders of the Lord, for the Lord of the earth, the master of the sea, has come with justice for the song at the days of the Lord, the wonders He had done in every year. All the ends of the earth, all you creatures of the sea, lift up your eyes to the wonders of the Lord. This Mass is offered for the following intentions. Archdiocese of Vishakapatnam. This, this Mass is offered for the departed soul of Alka Goel, Paitanya and Dominic Raftree. This Mass is offered for protecting and keeping families safe from this deadly virus offered by Ligia Fernandez. This Mass is offered for the departed soul of Mr. Peter Rodriguez by Rosie Rodriguez, Dominic, Anselm, Anand, Gloria and Cheryl, Beatrice, Kevin Cloyes, Sheila, Jude, Andrel and Joel. This Mass is offered for good health, blessings in the family offered by Rosemary and family. And also let us pray for our special intentions in this Holy Eucharist. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, in Christ today we celebrate the memoria of Saint Charles Langa and companions. These people were from Uganda, and Charles and companions were very much strong in their faith and that's why they were able to shed their blood for the faith and believe what they have in the word of God. And today as we are celebrating the memorial of these martyrs, let us also introspect our personal lives and see how much we are able to have strong faith and belief in the word of God and able to sacrifice and bear the pain for the belief what we have. Most of the time we fail to take pain, we fail to sacrifice for the belief what we have because of our weaknesses. And today as we participate in this memoria and Holy Eucharist, let us ask the Almighty God to have mercy on us for all these situations in our lives and let us participate worthily in this banquet of love. I confess to Almighty God and to you my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous faults. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary our Virgin all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have made the blood of martyrs the seed of Christians. Mercifully grant that the field which is your church 
watered by the blood shed by Saints Charles and his companions, may be fertile and always yield you an abundant harvest. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Tobit, chapter 6, verse 10, and 7th chapter, verse 1, and 9 to 14, and chapter 8, 4 to 8. The book of Tobit, chapter 6, verses 10, and 7th chapter, 1, 9 to 14, and chapter 8, verse 4 to 8. The angel said to the young man, Brother, today we shall stay with Ruggle. He is your relative, and he has an only daughter named Sarah. When they reached Ekbathana and arrived at the house of Ruggel, Sarah met them and greeted them. They returned her greeting, and she brought them into the house. The angel communicated the proposal to Ruggel, and Ruggel said to Tobias, Eat, drink, and be merry, for it is your right to take my child. But let me explain the true situation to you. I have given my daughter to seven husbands, and when each came to her, he died in the night. But for the present be merry. And Tobias said, I will eat nothing here until you make a binding agreement with me. So Ragul said, Take her right now, in accordance with the law. You are her relative, and she is yours. The merciful God will guide you both for the best. Then he called his daughter Sarah, and taking her by the hand, he gave her to Tobias to be his wife, saying, here she is, take her according to the law of Moses, and take her with you to your father. And he blessed them. Next he called his wife Edna, and took a scroll and wrote out the contract, and they set their seals to it. When the door was shut, and the two were alone, Tobias got up from the bed and said, Sister, get up and let us pray that the Lord may have mercy upon us. And Tobias began to pray, Blessed art thou, O God of our fathers, and blessed be thy holy and gracious name forever. Let the heavens and all thy creatures bless thee. Thou madest Adam, and gavest him Eve his wife as a helper and support. From them the race of mankind has sprung. Thou didst say, It is not good that the man should be alone. Let us make a helper for him like himself. And now, O Lord, I am not taking this sister of mine, because of lust, but with sincerity. Grant that I may find mercy and may grow old together with her. And she said with him, Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response shall be, O blessed are those, o blessed are those who, fear who fear the Lord. Who fear the Lord. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. Your response. O oh, blessed are those. O oh, blessed are those 
who fear the Lord. Who fear the Lord. By the labor of your hands you shall eat. You will be happy and prosper. Your wife like a fruitful wine in the heart of your house. Your response. O oh, blessed are those. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord. Who fear the Lord. Your children like shoots of the olive around your table. Indeed, thus shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion all the days of your life. Your response. O oh, blessed are those. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord. Who fear the Lord. your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint mark glory to you o lord chapter 12 verses 28 to 34 one of the scribes came up to jesus and asked him which commandment is the first of all Jesus answered, The first is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. And the scribe said to him, You are right, teacher. You have truly said that he is one, and there is no other but he. And to love him with all the heart, and with all the understanding, and with all the strength, and to love one's neighbor as oneself, is much more than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered wisely, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And after that, no one dared to ask him any question. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, in today's Gospel reading we see one of the scribes coming up to Jesus Christ and asking him, which is the greatest commandment of all? Why the scribe really asked this question if you reflect on C, at the time, the Pharisees and the leaders, they were taking the advantage of the Mosaic law. They would keep on multiplying the precepts and the commandments. Altogether, they made 613 precepts to be followed by all. 
and the scribe being a wise man and trying to understand which is the best and which is the most important of all these 613 precepts, he questioned Jesus Christ and asked him, Master, which is the greatest commandment of all these 613 precepts that have been taught for us? And Jesus Christ very beautifully said, the most two important commandments to love God the Almighty with all your understanding, with all your heart, with all your mind and with all your strength and also to love one's neighbor as one loves himself or herself. And the, at the end we see again the scribe affirming and acknowledging the two commandments spoken by Jesus Christ are the important ones. He said that you have rightly said because these two commandments are most important than any other burnt offering or any other sacrifice what we make. And from this, Jesus Christ said, you are not far from the kingdom of heaven. Dear friends in Christ, this is what our religion speaks about. This is what our faith journey should be in our day-to-day -day life. And we need to really introspect our own personal lives, our own spirituality, and find out how we are really able to love God the Almighty with all our heart, with all our mind, and with all our soul, and with all our strength. And how much we are able to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. We need to meditate upon this and find out the answer for this question today. And to say that, we fail to love God the Almighty with all our heart, with all our strength, with all our mind and soul. And at the same time, we fail to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. There are so many reasons for this. And to say, one, it is only our own selfishness and we always look for our own comfort and these weaknesses and limitations make us to fail to love God and to love our neighbors most of the time in our life's journey. And how we need to really love God and our neighbor? What is the way for that? And when we reflect upon this, I would like to speak about these three important things which really help us to love God and our neighbor. The first one is love God and neighbor through obedience. We need to be obedient to God the Almighty. How we need to be obedient to God the Almighty is God the Almighty has given the word to be followed. And we need to really understand the word what he has spoken to us and we need to follow that word in our day-to-day -day life and then only through this obedience we will be able to express a love of faithfulness to God the Almighty. And secondly, love through charity. We need to always love our neighbor and in order to express our love to our neighbor, we need to be very much charitable. Once Mother Teresa beautifully said, in serving the poor and needy and the sick, I see Jesus in them, I see my God when I serve, 
in my service I am able to see God the Almighty. And this is what the charity is required from every one of us. Through the word, what we have received from God the Almighty, and that we need to put into action in the form of charity by serving the needy and the sick and the poor. And there we express love to God and at the same time love to the neighbor. And this is what today God the Almighty is asking every one of us. So we need to express love to God and our neighbor through charity by working and putting everything into action what we believe. And finally dear friends in Christ we need to express love to God and our neighbor through the prayer life. When we sit to pray we communicate with God the Almighty and in this communication God the Almighty will enlighten us, He will strengthen us and He will boost us and He will give us courage to move forward in being obedient to Him and in being charitable by serving the neighbor. Prayer life is the one which really gives the energy and strength for every person in being obedient and in being charitable. And in these three ways we will be able to express a love to God and to our neighbor in our spiritual journey. So dear friends in Christ, in this Holy Eucharist let us ask the Almighty God to strengthen us by giving wisdom and knowledge to be always obedient to Him and to be charitable to our neighbor and in this way we can really express our love to God and to our neighbor and we can be the true children of the Almighty Father. Let us all put forward our prayers and petitions to God the Almighty. God our loving Father, we ask you to bless our Holy Father, our bishops, priests and religious. Enlighten them with wisdom and knowledge and give them strength and courage to always love you and to love the neighbor. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our loving Father, we ask you to bless the entire universe. The humanity is truly struggling today because of this deadly virus. Most of them have lost their beloved. Many children became orphans and many families are filled with sorrow. Loving Father, we ask you to shower your grace and blessings upon all these people. Comfort them, be compassionate towards them and may they experience solace and peace and comfort through your grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we ask you to bless all the people who have offered this Mass. Give them the sufficient grace and blessings. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God our Father, we ask you to bless all the Divyavani TV channel donors. Give them sufficient grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us all pause for a while and pray for our special intentions. God our loving Father, Listen to our prayers and petitions. Shower your grace upon every one of us sufficiently. Protect us at this moment and may we always experience good health. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oh
for you, O oh Lord, to pass. A humble gift, so pray the one. Be placed them on your altar, Lord, to raise. Make them worthy of your love. Send your blessings from above. Sanctify this gift, the Lord, we pray. Oh, take our hearts, take our mind. Take all we have, make them thine, O oh Lord. Oh, take our hearts, take our mind. Take all we have, make them thine. For you, O oh Lord, divine, a humble gifts so of great and wise, we place them on your altar, Lord, today. Make them worthy of your love, send your blessings from above, sanctify this gifts, so Lord, we pray. Oh, take a heart, take a mind. Take all we have, make them thine. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and our good of all His holy church. We offer your sacrifice, O Lord, humbly praying that, you, uh, that as you granted the blessed martyrs grace to die rather than sin, so you may bring us to minister at your altar in dedication to you alone through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give order to their faith, and to their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, 
he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis or Pope, Anthony or Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Saviour gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace.
behold the lamb of god behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the words and my soul shall be healed prayer of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i decide to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come into my heart spiritually i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself to you holy never permit me to be separated from you amen my god i'll no one you are my shepherd lord nothing shall i fear in pastures fresh and green you give my soul repose near cool and restful waters my spirit you revive it you as my guide i'll no one you are my shepherd lord nothing shall i fear in wells of gloom and then No evil shall I dread your strength and peaceful presence will be my comfort sure Need you as my guard I'll not want you are my shepherd lord Nothing shall I fear. Let us pray. We have received this divine sacrament, O Lord, as we celebrate the victory of your holy martyrs. May what help them to endure torment, we pray. Make us in the face of trials steadfast in faith and in charity. through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to St. Joseph. Hail guardian of the redeemer, spouse of the blessed virgin Mary. To you God entrusted his only son. In you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph to us too show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life obtain for us grace mercy and courage and defend us from every evil amen The Lord be with you and with your spirit May almighty God bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen go forth the mass is ended thanks be to god sing out to god shout to the lord praise him with all your Sing out to God, shout to the Lord, praise Him with all your heart. Magnify the Lord with me, 
bless His holy name. Now that He has set me free, nothing is the same. Sing out to God, shout to the Lord, praise Him with all your heart. Sing out to God, shout to the Lord, praise Him with all your heart.